Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke. Today is an example of holy anger. Righteous indignation. As I've studied the Bible, the only time that I can recall Jesus getting very angry and rebuking people it was the religious leaders he rebuked. The self-righteous religious leaders, he called them hypocrites, snakes, whitewashed tombs. He had sympathy and love and forgiveness for tax collectors, prostitutes, adulterers. But the self-righteous religious leaders, he let them have it. Righteous indignation. He rebuked them. I just sent someone an email. And I told them, I would rather associate with drug dealers, prostitutes, and Satanists than self-righteous religious hypocrites. You've been deceived. You watch orators, passionate public speakers, John MacArthur, Piper, Washer, Wilkerson, Conlon, Leonard Ravenhill. And you're so moved by their passion, by their drama. You're deceived. Don't let their passion persuade you. Does, it, does a lie become true because I raise my voice? Does a lie become true because I speak passionately? Well, let me speak passionately today. These men are telling you that Faith alone is insufficient. They're preaching lordship salvation. That you're not a true Christian unless you change your life. Stop sinning. They come out and say that salvation is not through faith alone. They're liars. Let's look at the Bible and see what it says. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. For those of you who don't recognize that, that is the Apostle Paul declaring that it's not the, a beautiful speech that determines truth. The Apostle Paul says he simply told the gospel that Christ died for your sins. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you're saved. Apostle Paul also wrote Ephesians. It says in Ephesians, For by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. And that's what I find you religious hypocrites doing. You're boasting that you're a true Christian. You repented of your sins. You did this. You did that. You changed your life. You're boasting. In Romans, Paul says, Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay but by the law of faith. 
Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. People have written to me and asked me, well, show me the verse that says you're saved by faith alone. Here it is. Romans 3, 27, 28. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. For those of you who are not that uh, knowledgeable about the English language, that means you're saved by faith alone. Faith alone without the deeds of the law, without obeying the law, without repenting of your sins. And I warn you all, all of you who are believing and teaching this false gospel, your, your Pharisees, foolish Galatians, it's not a new thing. You can read about it all through the New Testament. This works heresy came into the early church and it's still a very popular lie today. Go to Galatians 5.4. Let this be a warning to you. Paul says, Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever you are justified by the law. Ye are fallen from grace. Let me explain that to you. Because many of you seem to be simpletons. You can't understand simple, plain English. Christ has become of no effect unto you. That means you are not saved. Jesus is not your Savior. Who? Who, is, who is, does not have Jesus as their Savior? Whosoever of you are justified by the law. If you think you're saved because you have turned over a new leaf, because you have uh, repented of your sins, because you're a religious person, this verse is talking about you. It says, ye are fallen from grace. You do not have the grace of God. You do not have salvation. Now, because I raised my voice today, does that make this message true? Because I spoke with passion, does it make it true? Do not be deceived. It's not the drama of the speaker that makes it true. It's the Scripture. And I gave you Scripture today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you're saved. No work is required. 